Hello there, my name is Michaela and I am an animator, meaning I create animations and bring things to life on a screen. Back when I was a kid, I watched animated cartoons on TV and that's what got me started with doodling. Since then, I haven't stopped drawing and even went to college to learn how to become an animator. Now I make the animations that other people explore on their digital devices. But what is animation? Animation is the process of giving the illusion of movement to drawings, models, or objects. It can be as simple as a flipbook, or as complex as a full-length movie. Let's dive in and learn more about the five types of animation. Traditional animation is when each frame is drawn by hand on paper. Many drawings are strung together so it looks like they are moving. The Little Mermaid is a traditional animation you may be familiar with. 2D vector animation is similar to traditional animation, but the images are created on a computer instead of drawn on paper. Have you ever seen Blue's Clues? It's an example of a 2D vector animation. 3D animation is when lifelike computer-generated images appear to be moving. To infinity and beyond! Toy Story uses 3D animation to bring the toys to life. Motion graphics is moving graphic design used to tell information to others. Many commercials and movie intros use motion graphics to draw you in. Stop motion animation is a filming technique in which photographs are taken as objects are moved in small increments. Choo choo! Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends originally used stop motion animation to show the trains in motion. So, how do you get started with actually making an animation? Regardless of which type of animation you're working with, every animation starts with proper planning. You begin by creating your concept or the idea behind your animation. Some questions animators might ask are, what do I want to show in my scene? What do I want the characters to do? Where should they be? Once you answer these questions and create your concept, it's time to create a storyboard. Storyboards are a sequence of drawings and notes that help you visualize what an animation will look like. After choosing your type of animation, many of the storyboard drawings will become keyframes. Keyframes are the most important frames in animation. They can show the beginning, middle, and ending points of an action, changes in a character's expression, changes in the way a camera is pointing, or even a change in lighting. But just keyframes won't make an animation look like it's really moving. An animation of just keyframes will be choppy and stiff. It would look more like a comic book than an animation. Animators make animations look like they're moving by adding many, many images in between the keyframes to make the action look smooth. The more images you add, the smoother the animation becomes. This is called in-betweening. Animators repeat this process for every scene in an animation. Most animations consist of 15 to 60 or more images for just one second of a scene. Movies are made up of thousands of these individual scenes. That's a lot of work. Which is why animated movies take hundreds of people and years to make. As an animator myself, I work with a team of people in order to make videos just like this one. But it all starts with one animator, just like you. Coming up with a concept, creating a storyboard, and deciding your keyframes and in-betweens. So are you ready to try your hand at animation? Now it's your turn to be an animator, just like me. 